What's going on everyone? Hope everyone out there is having an awesome day. My name is Dayton and this is the Dr. Autoflower channel. In this week's update for five to six week of the Autoflower Grow, we're going to talk about the focus on the bud growth, doing some training, finding some males, taking some clones, and changing up the garden with some new unboxings. So let's get right into it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe for more content like this. Hit the like button, comment down below, it really helps the channel. Week five to six for these autoflowers is a time when growth has stopped with their growth spurts. They're not growing up so much anymore and they're more focusing their growth on their buds. Every day you can see some more growth on your buds, growing thicker and wider, getting more resinous and producing more pungent smells that you may need to control. The older Mephesto water flowers and the Promix BX with Gaia Green nutrients had an awesome growth spurt and now they are starting to fatten up nicely. One thing that I can usually count on with Mephesto genetics is it's going to be some very crisply frosty plants. And that's what we got going on here. This is also when the water flowers start focusing more on needing their flower nutrients. Meaning less nitrogen is needed and more potassium and phosphorus is needed. For the two Dutch Passion Autos and the Stepwell Supersoil, they are just beginning their third week and where they're getting into their growth spurt and just about to take off. And in this video, you'll see the start of their huge growth spurt and how fast they grew in just one week. And with giving these girls only leaf tucking techniques, they grew up into the biggest bushiest plants of the whole lot. So follow along to the end of the video and you'll see how big they get. And again, I'm using for the majority of plants the Gaia Green Organic Dry Amendments mixed in with the Pro Mix BX and also Stepwell Super Soil. So these are all organic soil mixes and I've been given pH water only along with EM1. The pH I'm mostly keeping it at is about 6.4 is the average I'm going at. And as we're running some photo period regular strains, we're starting to find some males because they're going into week five to six too. Males are starting to pop up and we are starting to see some pre-sexing. I can usually tell very easily if it's a male or female. Females you can tell very easily. You'll start seeing a little white hair like as soon as the calyx starts growing as well. So it, it starts showing very soon. For males, you'll see a kind of little tiny ball and you'll expect a white hair coming out of it. But if there's no white hair after a couple days, it's pretty much a male. After I find them like this, I usually give them uh, maybe a week more just to be 100% sure that they aren't female and they're not shooting out white hairs. If no white hairs, they're getting chopped. And that's what happened with these guys. So we have run out of God's Perp, one of my favorite strains to grow. So I decided to do a pheno hunt and do the last seven seeds and search for some phenos I really like. And now that the plants are big enough, I started taking some clones. So I started a very simple cloning process where I simply cut the lower branches off the lower part of the plant, dipped it in the cloning solution, and put them straight into the step oil super soil, keeping them nice and moist in the humidity dome. This was also the week that we started doing leaf stripping on the photo period plants, taking off some of the fan leaves that cover up the growth of new side branches sticking up. This will help the lower branches get light and start growing out a bit bigger and a bit longer. But this week there is going to be some changes going on in the garden. So what we are doing is setting up some new tents. We got some new tents in the mail guys. So we just got in two new secret jar and grow tents. A 4x2 grow tent and a new 4x4 grow tent. Big shout out to Indoor Growing Canada for sponsoring these tents. And they wanted to hook the viewers up with a 5% discount code. So make sure you go check that out in the link down below. This is the max area setup that I was planning once I was planning this new grow room. So I'm very happy to get these new tents. I believe it's Dr. Autoflower or you can use the link and it automatically puts it in. We're gonna start a review off of the two x four secret garden tents. So, first off, it kind of looks like the same material inside as all the other tents, uh, except this is a little bit more fine than compared to the, uh, this is the Gorilla Grow tent, so you can see it's more squares and stuff. And this, it's kind of more like this one. Uh, this is the Fusion Hut, kind of same, but this is a little bit finer little bit different uh, print, not as many bumps or abrasions sticking out, I, I see. So it seems a little bit higher quality on the inside. I like that. 
and the outside it seems a bit higher quality too even compared to the Gorilla Grow tent so this is it just seems like very very fine threading here so I like that when you look at the Gorilla Grow you can see it you see or this is the Gorilla Grow light so it is a little bit different than the original so but you can see here this is the uh, 4x4 secret garden and compared to like this this is like a lot more rough the poles are definitely my favorite poles I've dealt with I've probably had uh, five different tents maybe six different kinds of tents now and I really like these poles because a lot of the other poles as you can see here in the Gorilla Grow tent uh, they're white some are green you can see there those ones are green which means they're painted and if they get scraped or something that paint and stuff will come off so I really don't like that this there's no paint at all it's just uh, aluminum maybe and it just seems like a cleaner material to use for the uh, support um, yeah I just like it more and as you can see here the 2x2 does not come with uh, actual holes made so you actually have a tool to make it and put in the holes where you want so this is pretty much what it does you can put them all like that in the corners cut a hole wherever you like and it does come with patches if you want to patch up the hole and put the hole somewhere else so that is handy um, so you can customize it one thing I could say that they could work on and possibly uh, make a little bit better is the bottom here as you can see here it doesn't really have a crease or sewing to keep it straight up like this so that's one thing they could do to improve on it but other than that this is an awesome tent I love the quality definitely recommend it now here we got the 4x4 tent and this is a little bit different we have uh, duckings stitching seems to be very nice too you don't see uh, string kind of falling all over the place so that's my review of the secret garden tents got the 2x4 here the 4x4 here and we're gonna be growing in here right away So now that we're into week five, uh, it's getting a little smelly in here. I do have an air purifier in our place that does have a carbon filter and it does help keep the smell down, but usually you'll need a carbon filter and an inline fan. I will be touching more on this update in the next video as we got some awesome new inline fans in with carbon filters that we are gonna showcase on our channel. So stay tuned for that. So coming to the end of week 5, I definitely noticed a few things. One was that the CO2 generators have pretty much stopped working, they're not producing any real pressure anymore, and they're pretty much dead, so it seemed they lasted about two and a half weeks for the two of them. Another thing I noticed is the impressive, very nice growth coming from the Stepwell Super Soil Autos. These are the Dutch Passion Blueberry OGs, and in this week these girls grew massive easily jumping about three to four times in size. And when you see your plants doing this, you know you're giving your plants the optimum environment they want. They're very happy with the soil, they're happy with the air, the CO2 level, the light intensity. So, so far these autoflowers are the best of the run. There wasn't a ton of autoflower grows done with the Stepo Super Soil before this, so it was very interesting to see how they perform. And so far I'm very happy with it. And as of making this video, I can already say they are now the biggest autoflowers in the garden.
So some things to look forward to on this channel is a bunch of new grow gear coming. It's definitely really excited to get the garden up and going again. Seeing all these plans come to fruition. And slowly but surely we're getting our full garden set up. Soon to be a perpetual garden running auto flowers and photo period plants. Definitely some exciting times ahead guys. Stay tuned for more updates. Uh, thank you all for watching this. I think I'm going to end this update here. Thank you guys so much for watching this, for giving all the love and support. All you guys smashing that like button, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. And let's try to end strong with 2019. So much love guys. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, peace out.